In today's video, we're giving you an exclusive look into the glamorous lifestyle of David Barton in 2024. Known for his extravagant parties and luxurious living, David Barton has built an impressive empire, and we're here to uncover all the details. Get ready to explore his net worth, take a tour of his stunning house, check out his amazing car collection, and so much more. Join us as we delve into the life of David Barton, revealing the secrets behind his success and the opulent lifestyle he leads. Whether you're a fan of his work or just curious about his lavish way of living, this video has all the insights you need. David Barton is an American evangelical author and political activist for Christian nationalist causes. He is the founder of Wall Builders, LLC, a Texas-based organization that promotes pseudo-history about the religious basis of the United States. Born, January 28, 1954, age 70 years, Alito, Texas, United States. Education, Oral Roberts University, Alito High School. Movies, Juicy Mushu. Party, Republican Party. Early life, education, and family. Barton is a lifelong resident of Alito, Texas, a suburb of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. He graduated from Alito High School in 1972. He received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Religious Education from Oral Roberts University in 1976. Barton is married and has three grown children, including a daughter who performs minority outreach for the Republican Party of Texas. Career After graduating from college, Barton served as a youth pastor at churches in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was employed as a teacher of math and science and eventually became principal at Alito Christian School, a ministry of the charismatic church started by Barton's parents. In 1987, Barton formed Specialty Research Associates Incorporated, a company which said it focused on historical research relating to America's constitutional, moral, and religious heritage. Specialty Research Associates submitted amicus curiae briefs in court cases. In 1988, the company became Wall Builders. Barton is the founder and president of Wall Builders. Wall Builders publishes and sells most of Barton's books and videos, some of which present Barton's position that the modern view of separation of church and state is not consistent with the views of the Founding Fathers. Barton has argued that the religion clauses of the First Amendment were intended only for monotheistic religions, and perhaps solely Christianity. A 2005 Time Magazine article entitled The 25 Most Influential Evangelicals called Barton a major voice in the debate over church-state separation who, despite the fact that many historians dismiss his thinking, a hero to millions, including some powerful politicians. Barton has appeared on television and radio programs, including those of Republican presidential candidate Mike Huckabee and Glenn Beck. Beck has praised Barton as the Library of Congress in shoes. In September 2013, he returned to the political arena and advised state legislators on how to fight the Common Core academic standards promoted by the Obama administration. Barton was the vice chairman of the Texas Republican Party from 1997 to 2006 under state chairman Susan Weddington. He has also acted as a political consultant to the Republican National Committee on Outreach to Evangelicals. There was a Tea Party movement to get him to run against Senator John Cornyn in the 2014 Senate election from Texas. However, Barton announced on November 6, 2013, that he would not run for the seat. Barton headed the Keep the Promise PAC, a political action committee supporting Ted Cruz during his campaign for election as U.S. President in 2016. Cruz failed to receive the Republican nomination. Barton has also advised Newt Gingrich. Barton's first non-self-published work was a 2003 article in the Notre Dame Journal of Law, Ethics and Public Policy, Volume 17 Issue No. 2, 2003, page 399, a survey of Jefferson's writings about the First Amendment. Barton is the initial funder of Patriot Academy, a right-wing organization that says it gives participants the physical training you need to be able to defend your family and intellectual ammunition to defend the Constitution.